Hello, everyone. <laughs> Shelly is so on it. We're here live at Epic Headquarters. It's nice to see. Well, nice to know that everyone's out there. I can see you on the stream. I want to say hello to somebody really special today, and it's all the people who listen to the podcast. I was looking at our, our podcast and the ones that we've done, and I cannot believe how many people are listening to us. Nice. They can't see the pictures or anything, but so just, just to, to remember that we have some other people that aren't watching live, but they're going to be listening on the podcast later. We've had like 35 people, 35,000 people listen to one. So wow. Yeah. I didn't awesome. know we had a podcast. Yeah. What? <laughs> see? Which one was it? It's a, uh, it was one with Chris. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of figure. Right. So I'm here with Sid <laughs> and Josh and Chris, Hello. and we are going, hey a lot of you have been saying, okay, Outpost is so awesome. When are we going to be getting another map? So we Soon. might be doing another one? Yeah, we're definitely doing Maybe. another one. So yeah, the um, art guys are looking at making a new map. Pretty, and uh, it just so happens to we be one so of happens maps. to have picked and uh, it's be awesome. CTF yeah. Outpost. CTF outpost. <laughs> <laughs> CTF outside. No! Oh. That's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> um, CTF outside to be the next map that's going to get the visual treatment. Is it um, going to get a new name too? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if people have suggestions for names, I'm all game for hearing what they have to say. Yeah, I mean, we'll wait till it's done and then yeah. we can look at it and see. I mean, uh, it's a castle themed map, so yeah. I think. You know, our reasoning is to give you guys another Lego set to play with, right? We've, we've got a sci-fi awesome. set, now let's give you an, a castle set, and uh, hopefully guys can just combine them or yeah. mix and match or do whatever and just go nuts Yeah, do some awesome things with that. It should be super exciting to get that yeah. variety in the game, and I'm, I'm presuming people will also take the Outpost stuff and start bashing it yeah. together with the castle yeah. stuff and yeah. create all kinds yeah, of yeah, hybrid yeah. stuff. And so this map already has the fun. I mean, people play it like crazy. Where Every time I jump into a CTF map, this, the, a matches comes up, so... Um, it's already fun. What are we going to do to make it look? It'll also have a lot of yeah. uh, uh, natural elements as well that mm -hmm. can be used across all maps. It'll have rock and grass and moss and trees. Yes, we're actually yeah. getting a ton of mileage out of yeah, the stuff totally. you guys are making. Totally. <laughs> a lot of, lot of yeah. cool generic natural assets that, that mm -hmm. can be used wherever. Um, are, they, are they seeing this map? Yeah, do we want right to take now? a quick peek at the shell just as a refresher? Okay. I mean, most people who are regularly watching will know this. Um, I think they might remember it a little bit. But yeah, so we can see that there's, you know, going to be a good bit of ground to cover with organic stuff, rocks, cliffs, um, you know, grass, moss, dirt Shout paths, all that stuff, and then a few nice castly bits that'll get some cool modular stuff generated for them. Yeah, I mean, the stuff we can do with rocks alone in this yeah. map is going to be awesome. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just having this cool sky box out there as well, it'll, it'll yeah. just really grab a, f uh, a nice feeling of that place. That was one of the things that I actually did intentionally uh, just to just even in the shell leave this open to give some room to look back into some sort of vista left and right and yeah. we can probably even kill some of this here to open it up a little bit more if we want a wider shot. Am um, I still going to be able to push people off the map? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. We're also going to do a lot of uh, vertex blending in here to try to make everything more seamless rather than the usual harsh seam yeah. to harsh seam. You See. Which for reusability will be awesome too for people to just be able to kind of customize yeah. the look of their stuff by just painting uh, stuff yeah. on there. So yeah, totally. Yeah. So it's a it's a pretty map to begin. It's with. It's going to be a beautiful map when it's done. Yeah, it's going to be it's it should look really really nice. Yeah, we're all super excited. Yep. Um, yeah, do you want to jump in and look at some of the yeah concepts yeah let's that look you guys at some concept through? art. Josh, are you working on the, the texturing and stuff for this? Uh, yeah, yeah so me and Rick are on this map. Uh, he's kind of experimenting with uh, rock shapes right now, working with uh, Chris, and I'm yep. trying to... Awesome. I just got Substance Designer. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Goob has done a ton of concept art, so yeah. uh, there's a bunch of stuff that we've, we've kind of cycled on and rejected, and then some stuff that's just really cool. So this is the stuff that was kind of rejected, you're going to see first. Um, we tried to kind of play up the magic of the towers and the red and blue and kind of Lord of the Ringsy a little too much, I think. Um, ultimately, we want something very beautiful and and bright, and uh, this this was just a little somber. Um, then we started to say, hey, what can we do with a facing worlds type of look um, if we had different oppo polar opposite worlds, right? So we we this is the ice portion of a fire and ice kind of castle. Um, and these are all really good ideas still, and they're all really good concepts. 
um, that one of you guys might yeah, be able to gorgeous. take and, and use for another map of, or something like that, you know. Um, we'll put these on the, on the forums. Um, this was just another theme, like a kind of, uh, this is a more mystical theme, kind of castle up in the, the mountainy, snowy ra regions. Yeah. This one, um, we kind of went a little funky with the colors on this one, just to see where we could push certain things, and uh, ultimately didn't, didn't choose that one. This was the fire half of the fire and ice side. Um, this castle would be kind of sitting in the, in the middle of a volcano. Um, this one was a little deserty cool. kind of, you know, more derelict version, I guess. And this one we, we were experimenting with some. That one has all the pollen some, uh, from Carrie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we were experimenting with uh, the fall needs colors. Needs with some this geese one. in there too. Yes. Oh. Yeah. What would it look like with, with <laughs> fall trees and orange trees and you know things like that? More dead landscaping and. Um, so th I think that's it. Is that the last one? Yeah. So so those were kind of. We looked at all these, we talked about them, and, and ultimately we, we chose what we chose because we think it's going to be more beautiful and, and uh, just be a, a, a better map. So which ones did we pick? We show, uh, Do we have those? Yeah, these. Uh. So this is kind of an overview. Yeah. Um, it's more of a mossy kind of thing. Uh, can you go to the next one, Shelley? And this is, this is really the, the image that set us off. I think when we all saw this, we were like, yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, Gorgeous. We'll play up the colors, probably the red and blue on each side and stuff, and, and uh, we'll build some moss into it and some, some rocky stuff. But uh, Or maybe do tiny structural differences that aren't yeah, affecting totally. gameplay space. Yeah. Like what, what I really liked in one of the older concepts is that he took one of the rock faces and just turned it into like part of a bigger castle and right. stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna do, we'll totally do stuff like that. Uh, this is just kind of a close-up detail of it's not your stereotypical castle. There's some there's some iron in there and some different structures. Oh, okay. Uh, so now I know this is up in the top of the base. Yeah, the yeah, flag stand. Right, right by the flag stand. Yeah, and this that there might be awesome. some powered <coughs> things in there too. There might be lights um, and stuff like that. So we're, we're really just going to play with it and see what comes out. It looks awesome and vibrant. And yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alive. Yeah. Lots of color and lots of uh, cool skybox. Lots of awesome rock and, and natural elements mixed with metal so not just all stone you know nice metals yeah. and woods in there as well wooden beams and planks and, and the stuff like that yeah. which again tons awesome. of mileage for other stuff yes yeah. Gooba is a beast by the way Gooba <laughs> is a beast oh he's, my he's God. fantastic he's yeah I can't <laughs> say enough good things about Adam he's He's just great. Yeah, it's probably so not uh, the last time we'll hear his name on this show. Uh, yeah, uh, on yeah. Show today, he's so. not only is is he really good, but he's super fast. Like mm -hmm. he did all that stuff in a couple days, you know. And and it's he it's did this all while he was on spring break. Yeah, too, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After he got married and, yeah. and you know <laughs> on his honeymoon and all that Very stuff. Whirlwind. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I was I was playing over the weekend, and I cannot believe the amount of maps that are out there already. And oh wow. I know that people yeah. are just dying to get their hands on some some textures Which and stuff. Actually, speaking of amount of maps, just quick interjection. Shout out to uh, NATO for volunteering. NATO, because we yeah. have a new level design for yep. sub forums out there, and NATO is going to jump in and, and help admin that because we have so many maps now. I yeah. mean, it's just absolutely incredible. The amount of maps that yeah, he I volunteered played. to help filter some stuff, put it in the appropriate spots, and which is know. not an easy job. <laughs> no, there's a ton of stuff in there, which is awesome. But yeah, it's a lot of work to yep. go through it. Um, so also, still we're still looking at adding potential new tags for posts as well. So yes. if people have suggestions for what they would like to see, just make a post about it. Let us know. Okay. Um, oh, yo, you mean for the the prefixes? Yeah, prefixes, tags, whatever you call them. Yeah, because um, we had it. We had a really cool setup in the old Epic Games forums where there were different tags that people could actually choose. So I don't know. Maybe we can, if if things are getting yeah. too confusing, we can go to something like that. Ideally, the idea in the end would be that if you start a new thread for your map, you can start it out with something that's tagged as I don't know shell, for example. And then as you take it through the mm -hmm. different passes, you can change those tags in front of the post to kind of indicate where the, what point I the map is at. I would have needed a tag back in the old days that said, not yeah. bot pathed. <laughs> <laughs> None of my maps had bot pathing in it. Where is the bot path? It's oh. nice and easy now. No more apples. Yep. So. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when are people going to be able to use the uh, Lego bits from uh, Outpost? Do you guys know? Soon. Anybody? Yeah. Soon. They should be in, right? The, no. the outpost uh, Lego bits? Yeah, they were released today. 
well, released today. Okay, go have fun. Yes, <laughs> yeah. have fun. I can't wait till this weekend to see a million. Which is going to yeah. be awesome because yeah, it's, it's yeah. you know when the people are just putting in like old textures and stuff. So it's this is going to be great to be able. Is to the see. map out there to mod too? Did, yeah, did the map too? The map, the map can be modded too. That's All awesome. Right, so we need a pink map for Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd there. love to see people <laughs> play with shaders and time of day and lighting and, and all time that kind of stuff. Time of day would stuff, be cool. Yeah. yeah, that would I think be awesome. That would be pretty neat. Yeah. I'd like to challenge everybody to <laughs> take those assets and make them look completely wildly different from what they That's ended up looking like in Outpost. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and see how far it they can go with pushing happen. different looks. <laughs> Yeah. Put the spline modifier on the yeah. spline modifier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you go back, um, probably about uh, five episodes or six episodes, Josh actually took us through how you can change change color and do some different things with the the texture. So yeah. people can start working on that now too. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we are are going to allow Chris and Josh to escape. <laughs> Yay. Do we need an intermission <laughs> picture? Do we need an intermission? <laughs> we can dance. <laughs> yeah, it might not be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to take a short intermission because we're going to bring in two other guys. We're going to look at some community maps. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And we're back. Intermission end. <laughs> <laughs> we're so good at this. And we're back. And Yay. Look. <laughs> Josh has changed into Steve. <laughs> Chris has turned into Jim. So yesterday, uh, down in the playtest lab, I, I actually posted a picture. We, we did some playtests with some community maps. Yes. And we had a great time. I didn't get to play because everybody was fighting over seats. I so I got I to sit there watching. No, that's OK. That's OK. You are, you are the one who knows if a map's good. I just look and say, oh, this is fun. And that <laughs> makes it good. So, um, so you can sit here and actually do a good review of these maps. So what's, what's the so first one? Starting out. Because we haven't had enough Gooba yet today. Um, <laughs> More Gooba! More Gooba! <laughs> We're gonna look at Gooba the Beast. CTF Oni, um, Gooba's asymmetrical CTF shell that he's been experimenting with. And um, it's not only asymmetrical, it's like almost an entirely new game. Sort type. of, yeah, assault like in a sense that he came up with this setup basically where you can't actually take the blue flag, you just can deliver to it. Um, it's actually number one feedback bit to bring up. <laughs> Getting <laughs> back in here was a huge, huge oh God, thing. Yes, like it was you would you would run across the entire map, finally make it back here, and then like yeah. bounce around the top of this would hole and not be yeah. able to. Be get nice in if it had some sort of slope to like it. A funnel. Yeah, yes. a funnel of some sort where you basically kind of where you spin you know, around. Something that around. kind of slopes out so you still can climb up, but yeah, something to allow you to just get in here more easily. Um, it's also a very, very sniper-heavy map. Um, so for those of us who enjoy it, actually, you know, having lots of sniper gameplay, like <laughs> Stu and I, we get headhunters on, uh, like, I think, each time. <laughs> playing I, did, against I didn't one mind another. it so much, to um, be honest. I know yeah. it, it was a little brutal at, at first because Stu is Stu insane is with his sniper yeah. But once I figured that out, yeah. Was Gooba, Gooba provides you with a, an alternate path. Yes, and I, I do like that. It just is, it's kind of the first playthrough kind of symptom of people don't necessarily know, hey, I could just go left here and bypass yeah. all that stuff. And I think another thing that contributes to that happening actually is that the spawns, the way they're laid out, you kind of, if you don't immediately translocate up through these windows, you're sort of forced to funnel out, out straight yeah. into, and into Stu just you know, loves the view funneling. of somebody <laughs> sitting up there sniping, which being up there just meant I constantly had like two or three guys running in front of me and I could just start picking. Ping, ping, ping. Um, the spawns down here are a little weird too. Like there's another, this is another spawn spot here and, and coming out of here and having to kind of peek your way up there, there without stuff. You could translocate stuff. across. So. You could, right. But it still feels a little awkward to be yeah. kind of I was actually thinking just another path right there that went underneath and joined up with yeah. the, the lower path. Or just there. a way to actually be able to maybe have one of these windows be covered with glass or something that you can't shoot through, have maybe a higher ground here that loops around over to this window. Yeah. So you just have a different mm -hmm. option for exiting out this main room here. So you can essentially just reach this on foot just by spawning and running out because you kind of get some natural cover here. But yeah, the theme-wise, it's really cool. And I like he's kept it really simple and clean and 
some cool shapes and, and lighting going on just for being at the shell stage and it's doing a pretty good job of conveying that sort of cyberpunkish city feel city that he has in one of his concepts, which I don't think we have the image loaded up, but he has it on the forums and of course he's done awesome concept art <laughs> for it. <laughs> concept art for <laughs> it. Um, I thought it was a typo when I saw Gooba. I was like, yeah. no, Gooba did the concept for no, Gooba did the map too. Yeah. 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 Playing the uh, more or less attacking side, I actually really enjoyed taking this little side path and you're completely covered from sniper fire. You can just kind of make your way through here, grab the flag. There's actually a lift jump up here that you can oh reach. Oh, nice. So yeah. Stu would be sitting here and sniping at our <laughs> spawn, and that's easy pickings from over here, which is nice. So it's cool to have that built-in flank for the main sniper I came this spot. way with the flag one. Yeah. Um, flag out here, super out in the open, which, I don't know. Might work out fine, might not. I think it just needs more testing. One thing that's nice as a defender here is that you can actually get a good glimpse of people grabbing it and which path they choose to go out. Um, having this one down here as a little alternative dropout is nice. Because um, you kind of bypass this, but you're very predictable in terms of where you're gonna end up. Oh, this is, this is new, I didn't. Oh nice, that way, yeah, that wasn't there before. Oops. We were playing a, a somewhat <laughs> older version of the map. I was just reminded of two fort right there. Yeah, th there was a bit of a snafu in the download link in the OP, so we played one of the earlier versions yesterday. Um, a lot of feedback still sticks, but yeah. he's made some changes since that updated a few things here and there. Like this path is new, uh, which translocates you out to still oh underpass down here interesting which is nice so this is yeah, basically that was because i ev the first time i ran by there i thought that that was a path and so i jumped over the edge and killed myself so i'm glad that there's actually yeah. something there so you can sneak in this way and then now you actually have an option when you go down this way to just escape nice which mm, yeah i mean i could see that being maybe a little bit problematic because it's a wildly different location than where you originally were at it might work just as well to just have a physical connection that actually cuts across over here, um, which I don't think it's probably somewhat in line on that axis with where you're actually connecting because this other bit is like down underneath the floor right here and then the teleporter is somewhat over here so you could maybe connect that straight up and just have people go back and forth, I don't know. Um, might also be nice for these spawns back here to have at least somewhat more protection going on. I don't know. This could be another good spot for just a glass window that you can see but not shoot through. Um, something to provide. I like coming down this hallway though as an attacker because everybody was usually standing right here facing out yeah. and not paying attention and it was a good uh, it was a good assault point. And there's a cool defense spot up here too which yeah sure lots of people didn't actually find this kind of stuff when we were first playing it because it takes time getting used to but um, with scenario maps like this it's always a trade-off that you make is it's a little bit less accessible to begin with with the potential of a bit more depth as people get familiar with yeah. the map and play it longer so there's always something to be said for both flavors stuff that's super easy and simple and fast and you pick it up and stuff that's more complex and it just takes time and grows over time is the bio still down by the flag no mm. I don't know was it done here somewhere? I found myself with the bio a lot, and then I wished that I ha also had the link so I could make one of Steve's famous gooey traps. Yeah. I'm not sure those are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to stay or if they're or what the deal is with them. But this was a since this was such a very distinct attack defense scenario, it was yeah. it would have been a really good option to have. Yeah. yeah. So you see, there's also yeah, a way. Encourages teamwork and stuff, too. There's a way to cut back over here, too. If you take the long route, you can still get back up here and try and cap. But yeah, there were, f I think, maybe even two or three times where we had, like, three yeah. people juggling around this thing and last second saves and whatnot because somebody was trying to, like, <coughs> get it in here. Yeah, in fact, that's so small that you actually, um, it's frame rate dependent. Whether yeah. you're going to fall into it or not. <laughs> 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 the the other major uh, issue that we had here is one side is red and one side is blue, and ha the blue side has blue lighting, the red yes. side has red lighting. But since it's attack defend, you have to switch sides. I mm -hmm. think, which yeah, means you are the red team on the blue side with blue lighting, and it was just really, really. Confusing. He actually fixed the lighting bit, but he's still using some materials here and there. Like I think this stuff he replaced with the 
a child of this blueprint, yeah, so that, it can that'll swap make colors. Sense, that'll swap, but the, the, but then the blue wall back there. Yeah, anything that's not dynamically switchable, especially for asymmetrical maps, it's so easy to just make the yeah. bases look unique by nature that you don't really need team colors in any of the geometry. Yeah. So it'd be nice to neutralize some of these and just rely purely on all the you know billboards and just a regular uh, team deco blueprints that we have for this kind of stuff. So no Gooba, this map will be done by you know, tomorrow, probably. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I think it has a ton of potential. I really enjoy this style of map and playing it, and awesome for you know going that direction. I'm really excited that people are trying this sort of stuff now. So yeah, it's it's interesting to see cool. someone do something that feels completely different without actually doing any changes to the game type at all. Right. The way that the map was built dictates. Yeah. yeah. A completely different style yeah. of play. Which, yeah, experimentation, experimentation, experimentation. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I think yeah. that's really <laughs> valuable. Yeah. Yep. Love it. Uh, what are we gonna look at next? Uh, let's look at this. <laughs> Joust is the worst map. Lol. Joust. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we're gonna Joust take a look at DM Salt by our good friend Nato. NATO! Yay. Um, Big day for which NATO. We played this a is a super fun map. Yeah, we played a 10-player FFA on this yesterday, yes. I think. It was a little uh, crazy, but it was fun. Yes, much yelling going on yeah. during this one. I think a lot of the changes that he m made to this have really worked out nicely, um, especially opening up some of these inside bits here. You get some more visibility on what's going on, and you can kind of intercept people more easily. And um, But, yeah, I think the... Anyway, I had the most fun playing was just where the shield bell is at now. This area here felt like a really cool, very specifically designed old school power up slash armor location where you can do all kinds of cool stuff to, yep. you know, steal the belt from somebody, wall dodge across, do lift jumps and launch yourself out and to get jump across. Jump pad on the other side. And the jump pad's coming up from left and right, which is nice for picking people up and defensively holding this and. Well, this is absolutely this little cut over so old school. Yeah. yeah, old school map for sure. This was yeah. really fun to play around. Um, some of the weapon layout uh, was maybe a little bit questionable. Some people had a hard time actually finding weapons, which might in part be just to the player count. Um, but theoretically, with weapons stay on, that shouldn't be an yeah, issue. Um, I don't think there was a rocket launcher in here, right? We if there is, nobody found it. Which I was, I know you were s somewhat questioning, but I actually yeah. thought it was nice. Uh, it was just, it was one of those reminders that not every map has to have every single thing. Yeah. Yeah, um. yeah maybe, maybe putting something in a sort of more prominent location somewhere where it's out in the open and visible and something to be fought over could help um, alleviate that feel of not finding guns. There was a U-damage in here, right? Mm, nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was actually another thing that I was curious about, which would have been fun to kind of counteract the... Uh, oh, that's weird. I think this would actually be a better map for a Berserk. Just all the nice tight corridors and stuff. Flat cannon Berserk. Yeah, you could just go crazy. Heck yeah. Just, you know. <laughs> I like it. But yeah, w we had a ton of fun in this. Um, be really interesting to see it as a, or run it as a four and four TDM up to, and see how that plays out. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we should do that. Get feedback from people. The uh, one piece of negative feedback we had was the pit that you had to dodge jump out of. Oh yeah. We were playing with some new people who didn't quite understand how to get out of here. It's like. Mm. Yeah, it feels like yeah. There's always to be a fallback. Yeah, more painful. Slower if you're gonna, to get out if of. you're going to require a dodge jump, put like a really good power up or pick up there. You know that you're that you're well dodging up to. But if it's just a pit where you're going to get stuck in it, it would honestly even, even be with like that. I think you should have. It, it can be painful and slow to get out of doing it. The but some kind of a walkway out of it so that even a new or player jump isn't jump path. Might even argue that it, I don't know if it, there's a real benefit to having the water be that low in here either. Yeah, you could just. Swim falling in here and having to swim back out for missing the armor or getting knocked off might already be enough punishment to, I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Instead of making it a just yeah. a big hole, make it an actual Some swim. of these other that slope dodges like were a little lot. tricky as well, like 
some of them are kind of hard yeah. to connect and do stuff with. I like um, that one by the shock. I use that a lot. Yeah. I mean, you might even argue that maybe this could just be a ramp going down here instead and connect the two floors and allow people to kind of mix it up a little bit. You know, with the lift here too, if you see somebody coming towards you, opening it up, you could kind of do some cool intercept gameplay here or fake out or, you know, let yourself drop down the elevators and et cetera. Um, this felt a little bit weird and dead indie down here as well. Because I think there's actually spawn close by here as well. Um, yeah. Which this might actually make a more interesting weapon spot somehow. I don't know. But in general, just seems like a potentially good idea to evaluate some of the weapon placement again. Just make sure the density works and, you know, spawns are somewhere close to weapons always facing the right directions, etc. Um, but yeah, really awesome job. Very um, cool. There's windows. Good job, NATO, and thank crosses. you for yeah. everything. The that bars and the windows. We do have an alley cross prototype mesh, actually. So it's already there. Um, awesome BSP work too. Which I know kind of bit him in the butt a little bit <laughs> after <laughs> having to change a few things because he got a little too elaborate with some of it. It always um, does, but it's it's worth it in my yeah. opinion. It's cool. F it's a cool flavor. It has a cool Unreal Castle flavor to it. Yep. Yeah. A little bit um, of Bishop, a little bit of Curse. So I'm really excited about seeing where this goes and how it continues, and we'll probably run it again sometime. Yep. And see how it evolved. So. Awesome. Um, next up. Good idea. Let's see. Uh, there it is. Next up, we're looking at. Let me see if I can find it. Greed cause. By. Blood King. Blood King. That's right. <laughs> <coughs> which this was actually um, very very frantic and fast and we played with we played with eight or ten people yeah we definitely had too many people but it was still a lot but of it was fun, fun <laughs> for that <laughs> it was and just kind of stupid fun yeah uh, especially like the cool bit about this is that it's open across the entire top and you can traverse this here as well which initially you might look at this and be like well mm, this is kind of silly you just bypass the entire map and you're gone and yada yada but that is not the case when you're carrying a flag with people naturally gravitating up to getting the sniper and you know you being so visible when you actually traverse up here okay, it balances it itself out pretty well <laughs> um, and it was it become it became kind of a cool choice between going up and uh, being more at risk versus trying to snake your way through some of these corridors here and chase around yeah, in one big part. Yeah, if we had part. had six people instead of ten or twelve, it would yeah. have been a, a whole different game. Oops, still fun though. And yeah, this is awesome. Jump boots. Yeah, super jump boots being the most great powerful thing in this map, being in the dead center is a good call. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was, that was and a very good call. I think you can pretty much, let me, ch let me see if I can make this happen, but um, you can essentially grab the flag dodge out oh, look at jump you all across fancy. and then you pretty much uh, oh, you almost oh you did make it thought you were gonna miss that. I could probably do this in a more elegant that way that was a really nice run yeah. other than the places here. but yeah. that's how small this map is which works well and yeah. like Matt pointed out I think it's really isn't you know so I see this as being a really high skill competitive yeah. map the jump boots are super super powerful but again you expose yourself quite nicely when you try and take this path yeah. up here so it worked out well one negative bit of feedback that people had when we were playing uh, too many pits of death um, especially this bit down here felt really unnecessary because you more than often than yeah. not actually just ended up kind of I like hitting it at an awkward dodge angle while trying to fight somebody and you just get snug down there and eh. um, which it's fine for the per outer perimeter of the map to have that I think but I don't think it's really necessary in these kind of situations here where it'd be fun to have just you know space where you can fight across especially with the armor being on the other side without having to worry about backpedaling into yeah. the pit um. actually I wonder if I mean I guess that makes it a little less competitive but my, that also like seeing those uh, kind of bar looking things might be cool to have as a trap where there's a a button you can hit that basically opens that area. So if you're, <laughs> if you're fighting somebody there, you just flush the toilet. Flush the toilet. <laughs> 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 you guys also remember that the kill to you was really high? Because you 
Yes. 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 As Zach's pointing out, one thing that we noticed too is there's very little grace for trying to uh, save yourself with a translocator throw yeah. once you do uh, fall off the fall edge. So yeah, it should be down like at least where the cloud yeah. layer is. Would be nice if yeah, because he was just a little box. bit lower. Um, it's very pretty. But yeah, um, we did have a ton of fun on this. I'd be curious to see how it develops and probably also put it on a list to play further down the road again. So, um, awesome job. And I think very cool. that was it from Community Map Land. Community Map Land. Yes. There is a ton of stuff out there, though, which has been That's actually really great to see. Yeah. So like you said, it's been, it's been almost overwhelming. It's been too much, which is not a bad thing for us. I yeah, think we, it's, we it's have a lot of good really cool. Coming in. Play, playing this w this past weekend, I was just uh, I was amazed. I mean, because yeah. there is a lot of stuff that's out there. People have their own servers up that you're just getting the maps from the server. That I haven't even seen them before. They're not on the forums yeah. or anything like that. You a lot of remakes. You were playing remakes this weekend. I was yeah. playing a lot of remakes. I may have played Thorns. I may have oh. played and Action. Oh, I but didn't know Thorns yeah, was there. It was, it was very <laughs> hectic. I said, oh, no, Jim's going to lose his mind. <laughs> Thorns, Diamond Sword, Gothic. So um. Steve is going to give us an update uh, on the project? Yep. So, okay. so um, I'll, we just got a new build out today. If you look at the changes, there's a ton of stuff. Um, unfortunately, it, was a, it took us two weeks to get this build out because of uh, various uh, various issues. But uh, it did take a while. It was a long smoother. one. <laughs> anyway, there's lots of uh, lots of lots of good changes here. And then right now, we're starting to focus on. We're still working on um, polishing the hub system. Um, we're starting to look at uh, weapon balance again. I think the current build has some improvements or changes to how the flak works and also the link gun. Uh, we're looking at probably also tweaking um, the radius damage for stuff like the rocket launcher, probably keeping the effective dam maybe kind of clamping so that you don't have this, you know, get three points of damage at the very edge. So it kind of reduces the <coughs> the total size of it without really changing <coughs> the feel of it when you actually nail a hit yeah. uh, or the da amount of damage it does. Um, so, you know, various weapons. And then one of the things that, um, that we're talking about today is what we're trying out is, um, so we've gone away from, you know, we've tried different things to balance the hit scan weapons against projectiles. And um, at one point we had a projectile sniper, which um, didn't work out, so we tried several things. So one of the things we're going to try out now is uh, what we're calling aim down sights. And um, can you bring yep. up the, so we're using the uh, shock rifle as a prototype for that. So basically the idea is that, um, that to get accurate um, shooting, um, kind of like a, you know, a lot of modern games do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve. Uh, I, was I was just going to make a Call of Duty reference and it just oh didn't <laughs> He tried. He, he tried. tried. And he, talk <laughs> he talked to us all on the way over and he said, make sure you don't laugh. We have to sell this. <laughs> <laughs> so to be that fair, was beautiful. Um, I could just see that, that people oh. were actually worried that we were going to like give somebody a heart attack <laughs> when they saw that. So <laughs> <laughs> probably Pete, even the best. Pete's saying you just ruined hours of Donaldson's work. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so, so we actually have a working prototype. Nick, of our Nick yeah. Donaldson yeah. did make a working yes. prototype, which <laughs> which is hilarious. Which uh, and I we also know. have I mean, some I, some I think this is still a realistic too. possibility <laughs> that we might find this yeah. quite fun, right? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to show. Do we have no. the screenshots available so we could show everybody what uh, Pete Hayes did? <laughs> uh, Which, to be fair, yeah, I mean, I guess whipped that together super, super quick. Yeah. Um. Which is cool, and, and I mean, certainly, <laughs> it's not something we're we're really thinking about right now for um, Looks great guys for the core UT game. But I mean, certainly, I mean, we want people to. To, to go wide and you know and experiment with stuff. I mean, I could certainly see. I mean, this would be yeah. a different field than than base <laughs> UT. But I mean, no. But but to be serious, right? I mean, this is the kind of stuff that people should be making game times. I mean, we want people to be making games with UT that that go outside the comfort zone of just the core of what UT has been. Yeah. So. Uh, damn. I have to pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice try. No. Do we have the screenshot, Zach? Uh, the, uh, the, from the that Pete, uh, did? Pete Hayes did. Uh, his stuff should be up here. He did. He did a great job on these. So when, when we saw them this morning, it, who did we fool? Nick. Nick was <laughs> like, "What's going on? What we're doing? What?" <laughs> He's like, "Oh, it's April first. 
<laughs> See, we were torn between that and adding a cover system to yes. the game. Uh, so. It was easier to prototype this. It was easier to prototype yeah. this, yeah. And <laughs> cover system would have been great to... Co 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 cover <laughs> system nice. would have been awesome. So, there yeah, go. here we go. There's uh, there's <laughs> have the, the screenshots that, uh, that Pete did. So he did some great work on this. <laughs> well, we can still we can still do this. Post this on the forums. So like, look at that hotness yeah. right there. Yes. I won't start the, laughing. There at it that. is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's like you're no. Right it's like you're no holding an M1 or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like how you see. See, see how clearly it communicates so much ammo you have left. Yeah, that's and true. Exactly what you're aiming at. It's, yeah. that's nice. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> But it, in all seriousness, the mod potential there is yeah. this yeah. interesting, right? Yeah. But we do have actual good news. We do have oh, yes. some yes. like amazing news. So this is this is actually what we were going to talk about to begin with. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they realized it was April first, so we have to do. We something. realized, yeah, hey, we uh, got we got to do something. So um, we've got some uh, we've uh, got some great partners that um, we've worked with to um, put together some really cool hardware and uh, put together a couple of systems uh, that we're going to give away. So we're approaching now almost a, a year of development and so we've got a couple of systems that we're going to um, give out to a couple of our community contributors that have really uh, done a great job contributing. We wish, you know, everybody, we're, we're really grateful for everybody's contributions. This isn't uh, um, meant to be, you know, any kind of, I don't know, I, I mean we're excited to be able to do this for, th for these guys and we're really are grateful for what they've done as well as what everyone else has done. These guys have uh, uh, really gone above and beyond, being sub made significant contributions yes. to making this game uh, get to where it is so far today. And do um, you want to announce who the yes, uh, uh, Origin uh, PC yep. helped? So this is the this is the actual PC, and it's by built by Origin. Show the side where it's like amazing. Makes, uh, they make Little great uh, great gaming PCs. Actually, I have a uh, Origin laptop that I use for working at home, that uh, actually runs the game faster than my desktop at work. So um, yeah, they make really great. And this this is a uh, yeah, got some really nice specs, and we're gonna we go have through. We have Hyper Fury X. I'm gonna have all these specs. Yeah, I'll, I'll put them on the blog because we're gonna have pictures of everything. Yeah. Um, Logitech is uh, providing is providing the keyboard and the yeah. mouse. Awesome keyboard. And yeah. Yeah, awesome Logitech. keyboard yeah. and mouse. The very competitive ones. Um, EVGA is yeah. has is on there too, and Intel. So, so EV EVGA is providing this uh, GeForce GTX 980. So this has kind of been um, basically the specs here, kind of are what we've been. Pointing to for our high end, um, you know, try to get 120 frames per second at highest settings is our, our goal with these kind of specs. So this is a, a really nice machine, um, and I think all the you know put together all the pieces like you said the I think the Logitech is the G710 or something the like that. The G710 yeah. and the yeah. um, Hyper Fury yeah. mouse, which are awesome. Uh, you know, like I said, mouse. I use those. Yes. And they, they're, they're great. <laughs> Kingston provided Kingston the, uh, the the memory. The memory. Yeah. And so, yeah, so really great, really nice system put together <laughs> here. We, you know, thanks to Origin for putting these parts all together and all the, uh, all the different uh, companies that contributed. Um, they're, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're great. They're supporting, you know, helping us make the game. So, uh, you know, when you, uh, you know, help us, help us keep, uh, you know, making them excited about uh, working with us. And um, um, let's see, I think that's it for that. Oh, well, I guess we need to mention who the two people oh. who are actually <laughs> getting <laughs> the system. We could possibly do that. So. Or not, and I could this just take it home myself. That'd be, that'd I, be yeah. fine. All, I think all of us would like to do that. <laughs> uh, so if you look behind us over here, we see this beautiful Unreal Tournament logo. Mm -hmm. And when this logo was being made, uh, we were just kept going back to Henrik and saying, no, we want it like this. No, we want it like this. No, we yeah. want to try this color. We want yeah. this color. And he, just just like Gooba, just sat there and he just kept coming back with more and more, more and more work. Yeah. And he wound up doing our logo. So we are yeah. going to send Henrik one of these. He does not know this. So everybody say congratulations yeah. to Henrik. And so um, we're also going to give one to somebody else who is another guy who just sat there for hours and hours making you know mods for the game and programming he's a great programmer uh he uh is also making a game type right now that people are playing like crazy which is speed yeah. so everybody we want you to say congratulations also to timmy yep. so these guys will be will be sending them um these PCs will be sending you some forms first and everything yeah. so so that you have to fill out and then we'll, we'll be sending yeah. these out to you. So thank you so much for your contributions because without you guys, we wouldn't be where we are right now. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So. All right. Yeah, I think that's what we yeah. have for this week. 
Well, thanks, Happy everybody. April Fools! <laughs> <laughs> Failure. Okay. Yeah. By the way, Next these these, 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 these are I actually can. hollow. But yeah, there's <laughs> nothing inside. Proptronics. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Mm -hmm. There you go. These are great PCs, and we really want to thank our partners for for supplying these to us. <coughs> and uh, we'll get these out to you guys as soon as possible. So thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye.